So what we've got here, stitches. How long does the oval stitch last? Uh, people ask this sort of question. Thank you, the audio's working good. Um, varies, there's different types of dissolvable sutures. So uh, they range from a suture that lasts a week or so, uh, which is a very um, quickly dissolving suture, which we would sometimes suture faces. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, in children, or if you use the skin. In fact, I use it in the belly button when I do a tummy tuck. I use that uh, quick dissolving suture in the belly button. Uh, and it's uh, and a suture that you see on the outside uh, we the, the reason it's the, the you use it you use it in the skin usually pretty much always uh, and you use it because you want to because you don't want to leave stitch marks so you use it when you're doing an interrupted suture in the skin so it's not used that often as I say sometimes the children on the face if you're worried about having to take the stitches out um, the reason that we don't use it very often is because it's unpredictable how long it takes to dissolve and so if it takes a bit longer to dissolve you why there might be little stitch marks there when I use it in the belly button, I stitch it in such a way that any stitch marks will end up inside the belly button. So there aren't actually any stitch marks outside the belly button. But um, uh, I've gone off piece on this question a bit here. I've answered a different question. So how long does it? So uh, yeah, so the, well, no, I'm still on, still on the same question. Yeah, that's, re that's relevant, what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so, uh, so there's some quick dissolving ones. Uh, that's called Vicryl Repeat, that one I'm talking about. Um, and then there's others that take longer to dissolve, such as Vicryl, um, without the Repeat bit, uh, which takes a bit longer to dissolve. And then there's things like Monocryl and PDS, and there's, there's lots of different types. And some, and, and the, basically, I guess the general principle, you guys don't really need to know this, do you? I'm telling you stuff you don't need to know. But anyway, I'll tell you anyway. So the, the, the principle is that the, the closer to the skin you go, the quicker dissolving they are. So a very the one that takes a long time to dissolve, sort of like a PDS or something, is something that you use quite deep. So again, tummy tucks, you get quite deep layers. It takes a long time to dissolve. Hello, Zoe. Um, hi, Donetta. Hello, oh, Zoe. Um, so it takes a long time to dissolve. Um, so you use them deep. The reason for that is that because when sutures dissolve, sometimes if the, the body gets uh, annoyed at them, they start spitting them out and you get little superficial infections. So as you get closer to the skin, they, they dissolve more quickly. Uh, the good thing about dissolving, taking a long time to dissolve, is it holds the tissues together for longer and it keeps the strength for longer. The bad thing is that the body can start reacting to having a foreign body in it for too long and start spitting it out. So as we get closer to the skin, we put the quicker dissolving ones in. Bottom line, your question, how long for dissolvable sutures? So you're really talking about dissolvable sutures that are close to the skin. So when we're like, for instance, if you have something on your body and we put a dissolvable suture just underneath the skin um, to close it, um, I would like to go back and do this question again, because I think that's not, I've not done very well on that answer, have I? Because all you're interested in is a dissolvable suture in the skin that you, 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 you've had for a minor op. You're not interested in the history of dissolvable sutures. Uh, anyway, um, so the, the specific answer to the question is it takes, I would say, a couple of, a month or two. Okay, a month or two. Which I just said that at the beginning. But caveat, um, the month or two is for the suture. If the suture gets dissolved by being in contact with the water. The knots, which are at either end, usually, because it's usually a subcuticular stitch, you can't see it on the skin, but it's usually underneath the skin. There's a knot on either end of the stitch, and that takes longer. So that can take a few months for the knots to dissolve. Similarly, if you've had something like a breast reduction or a tummy tuck or something like that, where there's quite a lot of interrupted dissolvable sutures, as well as the one in the skin, sometimes you get little red dots where those interrupted ones are. And because of the knot, it can take a few months for that to dissolve. That's why a few months after a tummy tuck or something like that, you know, sometimes get little bits of suture spitting out. 